up everybody my name is monica mwale you can call me hashtag mo money and i am here to bring to you today my chisamba vlog okay or our chisamba vlog uh, it was a treat for my husband uh, he turned um a special age <laughs> and of course i decided that we would take him away so you know i hope you enjoy this video i hope you enjoy uh, everything that we got a chance to see and you know what it's like to to stay at protia uh, chisamba okay so what i'm gonna do now is just leave you to watch this vlog thank you very much bye bye just opted for the sweet and salty because they don't actually have what i want <sighs> right Oh. Hey, babe. Hey, what up? <laughs> oh, no. And electricity has gone. Apparently. But the generator hasn't kicked in yet. So at this point, uh, we decided uh, that we needed to go out of pick and pay and of course start our journey over to Chisamba. And of course, we had to do that with some music. Uh, so we're very, very uh, mu musical people. Uh, but of course, because of copyright issues, I can't actually play uh, the beats that were playing in our car. But of course, uh, we decided to go ahead, play some beats, and it was so, so exciting. So this is just me um, asking uh, my husband if he's excited uh, to actually be on uh, this trip with me. And of course, uh, yeah, you can see how excited he is. <laughs> but of course, he's also uh, very tired from work. But he still loves to drive, uh, which is uh, quite relieving for me. So here I am just showing you um, the roads of Lusaka. Of course, uh, we are turning in right uh, in just about a moment. Uh, but there was just a little bit of traffic uh, for those who are interested. We started off on a Friday at about uh, 6 p.m. Um, and normally it's meant to be quite busy not very busy right now but uh, very very busy uh, on the Great North Road actually we ran into some traffic uh, when we got onto the Great North Road uh, but that was because <laughs> there was a sinker in the road so we actually had to make a detour but uh, for the rest of this clip, you are going to be watching uh, a little bit of what Zambia has to offer uh, in terms of roads, how accessible they are, um, and so on and so forth. Enjoy.
disabled maybe. Wow. That's a kilometer. <laughs> oh you guys. This road seems like it's forever. Then I see away which means we are almost there we encountered some traffic on the Great North Road it was ridic but we found a way we found a way out of that traffic Google Maps is the way and we are finally Finally here, I think. You can see signs and everything. Look at that. Okay, there's a barrier ahead. like it was prepared just for you so as you saw in the previous clip you will be greeted with a member of staff just after you park up and they will lead you to the reception just like they have done uh, for us and then of course uh, you will see the reception over on the right hand side so we booked a chalet which is basically a standalone room. It's a standalone room and it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, uh, it's, um, you know, standalone <laughs> and full of wood. And then there's this lovely hut like roof over on the top. Absolutely beautiful, you guys you see over in the next skip. This is the bathroom. We're gonna do a water test in a minute. And then that's the uh, bathtub of course. And you've got your little sink here, mirror. Hey and then you've got the toilet right there. And then of course that is uh, leading to the room and then you've got a little hers and his uh, towel section which is quite nice and I really like the fact that it's quite bright in here, it's quite nice and then you've got a window, <laughs> lovely and then of course we have the rest of the room which is quite nice you've got the bed here on the right hand side and then you've got like a mosquito net <laughs> handy dandy um, aircon right there and then as you can see we've got really nice curtains um, and then what else can I show you of course we've already put our stuff in uh, it's like a little place for you to place your luggage I suppose and then on the left hand side of the wall uh, you can see like really cute art um, and then you've got a mirror on the left hand side hello it's quite nice and then oh there's somebody at the door just hold on 
and so there was somebody at the door who brought us an extension cable so that was quite nice um, and then we have uh, this little down area as you can see that's um, it's that little bit there is on a raised pedestal I suppose and that's what it looks like looking into the room on the other side and then of course we've got this section here which is like a little desk area if you want to do any work or anything you do it there or if you want to go ahead and do some makeup but uh, definitely not going to be wearing any makeup um, this trip and then of course you've got like a little tea area uh, etc and then uh, you've got obviously the phone there to call reception and then you've got little drawers there to show you what's inside um, right so you've got um, the blower and then you've got um, like a little mosquito repellent right there uh, yeah it's quite nice and then we have a little mini fridge uh, which is always needed in the room I think uh, so that's quite nice oh and by the way <laughs> this is our own Wi-Fi we literally go away uh, with our own Wi-Fi because uh, we never know <laughs> <laughs> we never know whether the Wi-Fi is going to be good enough uh, for our Netflix and chills so we bring our own okay and of course that's my little bag there and then you have a little lamp on the right hand side by the way it's really nice and bright in this room it looks really big um, and the fact that they put like a lot of light in here um, is quite handy if you ask me and then you've got like your little chill area there that's our food um a little bit of our food we actually came quite late so we had to like run away with some food before they closed down and then you've got a tv right there and next to the tv you've got a lamp and by the way this tv actually like comes out i don't really want to touch it yet um, but you can see right there it actually extends out and obviously because the bed is right there I think we're definitely going to be watching this TV over there <laughs> yeah so that is it for the little tour and by the way that's the extension cable on the right hand side right there so that's what the gentleman was bringing us earlier on so yeah I'll show you a little bit around uh, tomorrow just to see what it's like and very very excited and so we are into the next morning so me and my husband decided that we wanted some breakfast and then after breakfast I decided to take you guys around as you can see that is the main restaurant and then of course you've got a little area there uh, on the right hand side which was a waiting area and over there is the bar we never actually got to go there because we are not drinkers but uh, of course if you want to go ahead and have a look then that of course is your prerogative right so as you can see this place is beautiful you guys uh, it's serene uh, it's got the animals walking around <clears throat> I believe we had uh, run into a kudu, I believe it's called, and uh, yeah, she was just lounging around, having a little bit of um, some shelter where we were, and yeah, it's just really nice, you guys, as you can see, it's really nice and green, and then over on the left-hand side, you can see sorry uh, I beg your pardon you can see uh, that there's a place for you guys to relax and it's actually kid friendly uh, so over on the left hand side you can see a little play area for kids so if you've got kids you can definitely go ahead and um, you know let them lounge around as well and over into the distance you can see um, a net that is a netball net so if you're able to uh, play netball if you get there 
of course it's your own prerogative as well uh, you can actually ask for the balls from the reception area and over on the left hand side I'm not sure whether you can still see this but there is a basketball court and I'm just showing you what it looks like uh, from uh, that And so the next day we decided to go on a game drive. So it was actually just a little bit disappointing uh, just because the person who was our guide, um, you know, <laughs> he didn't really do what guides normally do. Okay, so he was very uh, quiet. So for the most part, we were asking him questions. Uh, but you know we kind of made it work this is what me and my husband do uh, really if we are in a situation where you know it's a little bit off or anything like that we try and make it work but we really <laughs> did try very very hard uh, but of course because of our previous no uh, knowledge um, of the animals that we were seeing uh you know we kind of made conversation with the guide and you know asked him a few questions that we knew uh, from the previous guide we had over in Livingston uh, so as you can see I'm just showing you a few animals that we have gone ahead and bumped into and just showing you the landscape as well and you know it's it's a beautiful thing being amongst animals uh, obviously it's very safe where I am I was in a game uh, drive car so I was able to you know uh, take all the videos that I needed to take so this um, game drive actually only took about an hour and it was 50 kwacha to get on to uh, this game drive which is actually really good considering uh, how much we <laughs> we were paying in Livingston to get on to one of these uh, so we definitely did appreciate uh, that amount and on the left hand side here you can see that we ran into some kudus yes beautiful animals um, majestic <laughs> they were actually looking over at us um, because I don't obviously they are used to the game drive car uh, but they're also quite curious animals as well That's what I was just about to say as well. All I know is that Chris Rock is the one who was voicing that.
It's also important to note the time that we went for our game drive. We went at 5 p.m. Why? Because the animals actually come out around this time to kind of graze on, you know, a little snack. <laughs> and uh, they do come out to drink some water as well. This is why we're actually lucky enough to see these um many animals okay so if you go ahead and actually do this please go ahead and consider that okay so you are um you know looking at times around 4 p.m to about 5 p.m because i do believe that these game drives only last uh, from 9 a.m to 5 p.m sorry that's 6 p.m okay so yeah, enjoy the view, you guys. Uh, look at that beautiful sunset. You can tell because he's the one, he's the only one with the with the horns like that. Some of these pregnant. Yeah. I can tell. So the difference between timber and what's the first Yeah. Let's go. The traffic is very majestic. How many do you have here? So she's all alone. What when are they, they gonna when do? Are, when are they going to bring more? Oh, okay. Then at least she won't be on her own. Hey, love. Don't worry, you get some friends soon. One beer, right? The resort is just on that side, and then we've got a little lake here, which is man-made, I believe. We're just on our way to see the lions, hopefully, we see some good action.
Um, so we're just leaving now. Right, so our stay was all right. It was good. Uh, it was nice. Very hot uh, right now. That's why I'm like a little bit flustered. Um, but yeah, it was overall, it was, it was an okay stay. We had a game drive yesterday, as you guys saw. Um, but um, one thing I will say though, the game drive gentleman wasn't very interactive. Um, so yeah, if you come here, hopefully he'll be a little bit more interactive. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're heading back now. Um, 